What's up, Leo? What's up? Welcome to your love reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down in the description box below. All right, we do have a very painful ending. Okay, something ended badly. And we have someone here who's wanting to come in, okay, and make things right. More than make things right, this is someone who wants to get that upheaval, okay. Someone who wants to renew a connection from that brink of failure, all right. Something literally, you felt backstabbed, betrayed, cheated. Things could have ended really serious, okay. Like, that was like an overkill. You could have felt cheated, betrayed, but this person is coming back. Someone's coming back to renew this connection, okay. They're coming in and to literally like make things right after this painful breakup there could have been um um like this period of uh, stagnation between you guys okay things could have been a hold i'm getting no communication but someone's definitely trying to see things from another point of view okay someone's probably on a break or you guys are on a break well of course there is a breakup but there's someone definitely who's wanting to see things from uh, from your point of view Someone's doing a lot of thinking about you. Leo. Seven of Cups, yeah. But there's a lot of confusion here. A lot of confusion. I think you don't know where you're where you stand in this person's place. This person probably gives you a lot of mixed signals. Or uh, this is just someone who's very confused, or you're very confused, okay? But seven of cups is again too much on someone's plate, or there's just too much going on, and there's someone who doesn't know how to approach you with the situation. Because you've completely backed out. I don't feel you're putting in any effort, okay, after this. Like, you know, like that chasing after a breakup. I think you've completely backed out and you're just fed up and you're not wanting to invest at all. There's no work put in from your side. <clears throat> this is someone who's even dreaming a lot about you, okay. They could be dreaming a lot about you, wishing about how they can come and make things right with you. But they just don't know which is the right way or which is the right source to come towards you. More. I don't know why I did this with reversals, but I'm enjoying this with reversals. I think it gives like that depth in that relationship. Ace of Swords, say there's someone coming in. They want a breakthrough with you. They want success. This is clarity. This is communication. Someone's finally thinking logically, okay? This person could be someone who's making a lot of emotional choices. Which would have sounded very good that time, but in the long run, it would have really affected your relationship or connection. But now this person's coming in, okay, to clear the air. They want that breakthrough with you. They want that success with you, okay? And this person's finally, I feel, after a period of isolation, that they've got that epiphany, a kind of realization, and they're coming out of isolation to talk to you and to have that conversation with you. Chariot here, they're coming in very, very fast. This is someone very willing, very determined, okay, to make things happen. This could be someone who's watching, spying, looking, okay, keeping tabs on you, but everything from a distance. They know what's going on, but they're not ready to talk about it. Seven of Cups. They're scared. They're intimidated. They have like this paranoia, okay? They're going through paranoia. <laughs> someone who's very defensive, okay? I mean, they know that if they come towards you with any kind of bullshit, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So they know that the only way they can come towards you is by talking about the truth. If there was any kind of truth that they weren't revealing, they're ready to talk about it, okay? And they're moving towards you. There's someone here who could be traveling, okay? You could be at a long distance from this person. But this person has that inner strength, that willingness, okay? Like, let hell break loose. I need to come towards cancer and make things happen. Or this could also be you who's moving forward, but I'm not getting that so much. Two of swords in reverse here. This person is very clear about what they want. <clears throat> They could have been like, they're coming out of that stalemate energy, okay? So yeah, I feel things were on hold, stagnant for a very long time. They realize what they want. They're ready to see things very, very clearly. Could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very immature, someone who doesn't want to be vulnerable, a little shy when it comes to their emotions, but someone emotion, very immature for sure. You could be like really wanting this person to open up, okay? And they, you have like a hard time to get them to open up, but they're finally coming in. They're coming in because they see things for what they are. They see things with, with clarity. They're no more blocked. <coughs> Two of Swords is being decisive, right? And with that Ace of Swords here, they're very sure <coughs> about what they want. Tell me more. It's like that determination, right? Yeah, 
they're ready to release that fear, anxiety, that stress, whatever was there around this connection, around this situation. They want a second chance with you, okay? Someone's coming in for that second chance, that resurrection. Someone wants a second chance, okay? They want a reconciliation for sure. And if they, this is someone who had a lot of fear of the unknown, you know, they're, they're finally wanting to release that, okay? They don't have any more fear. They're ready to express what they feel. And they're ready to talk to you about their emotions, okay? No more suppressing emotions. See, two of swords in reverse here. They see things for what they are. They could be ignoring this connection or ignoring a decision that has to be made for a very long time. Almost like a make or break situation, okay? They were like faced probably with very stressful decisions of whether to be with you or not be with you or probably whether to commit to you or not commit to you. Like, yeah, something like that, you know, very difficult decisions. But they're finally ready to make that decision and they're sure for what they want. And what they want is commitment with a page of pentacles. That's someone who's at least wanting to make an effort to move towards you. That's someone who's ready to put in the work, you know, someone who's ready to uh, put in that hard work. Th this is serious stuff, okay? The page of pentacles is not emotional. It's not very logical. It's not just passion, okay? But it's someone who's ready to give you something tangible, something secure, okay? And they're ready to put in the effort. They are. Could be someone who's procrastinating, someone very lazy, very unmotivated, you know, to make that drink make that shit happen maybe someone who always waited for things to fall into their lap <coughs> or someone who just waited for the right time okay but now no more they're coming in with the ace of wands here they want a brand new beginning with you a clean slate like let's forget what happened in the past and let's just start fresh let's start fresh see from the ten of swords you're going to the ace of swords see i like that like moving forward with clarity like this time, it's like no bullshit, you know, let's just be very honest about each other. I, I, they're ready to be honest about their feelings. The fool, they want to take this risk. No more doubts, no more um, reckless, impulsive behavior, ready to take this risk, ready to take that leap of faith with you, okay? And they're coming in with clarity, king of swords. This is someone who knows what they want, okay? They're only going to deal with logic, with uh, that rational thinking, okay? Not an emotional choice anymore. Like I said, right, this person could be someone who is probably very scared, very afraid to speak that truth, very manipulative, lying, whatever, cheating, doesn't have to be, but someone who's just constantly, you know, beating around the bush, but they never tell you the thing, you know, like on the face, never a straightforward approach. But I like the way they're coming towards you, okay? And they're like, okay, let's 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 do this, but not only with a fool, you know, take a risk or take a leap of faith, have a new adventure, have a new start with you. But something that has that tangibility, that security attached to it. <clears throat> King of Wands in reverse. <sighs> I think you are the one who's being laid back right now. You could be leading this for a very long time, okay? You could be leading the relationship for a very long time, okay? And now you're the one who's lacking the motivation, lacking that spark, lacking the passion to move forward with this person. You're very dependent on this person. I think you're just having a very passive approach towards them, okay? Because with the high priestess in reverse here, I think you could be having a hard time trusting your intuition. You're having a hard time trusting your intuition. You're trusting your logic over your intuition because your logic, your intuition probably says that you want to take the sleep of faith. You want to take move forward with this person when they come in with that clarity. You want to move forward, but I think your logic says, your logic is trusting your past experiences, okay? And your past experiences says that you were backstabbed and betrayed in the past. You felt cheated, okay? There was something that was ended up very painfully, you know? And you don't want to take action. You're being very, very dependent on this person to do all the work this time. <clears throat> or maybe it's this person... They're going to start up very slow. They have that sense of wanting to move towards you uh, with something serious, right? They're ready to put in the work. But probably when they're still not leading the relationship, okay? They still expect you to take lead and they're still not leading the relationship. I mean, it can happen, right? Sometimes someone wants that clarity, okay? They want that forward movement. But when it comes to literally wanting that relationship, when it really comes to making putting in that person who needs to lead the relationship... That's when they cop out. It's like, yes, I want to start something stable with you. But when it comes to making the plans of moving forward, like what's going on? What do we do next? That's when they're a little immature. Okay, that's when they're like this page here. But if you're expecting the king of wands, something wanting to take the lead, I think they're still backing out in that. A lot of emotions for you. 
they really really have a lot of passion for you but it's still someone who's just not ready to step up the game or man up okay could be someone a little um non-committal ten of cups in reverse which is again leading to that you know un emotional unfulfillment okay <clears throat> see that's what i'm getting here this person wants something stable with you again but with a fool here right the fool is the energy of um, someone who's wanting to go with the flow and that's not something that you want you want that steady progress all right like we're just moving forward i don't want to do the let let's go with the flow or you know almost like that i'm not like dead fish go with the flow for you probably it's like um take the lead i know exactly where i want to go you want this person to have that direction towards you and that's something they're lacking okay and that's why probably with the ten of cups in reverse here this is a very very happy relationship okay or a very fulfilled relationship okay but it's lacking that emotional fulfillment, lacking that commitment, lacking that um, coming together. Only because when it comes to commitment, this person cops out. But probably they'll keep mo giving you small, small bits, you know, in order to keep you within the relationship. That's what I'm getting. What is the outcome for cancer this week? What is the outcome for cancer this week? What is that outcome for cancer this week? Yeah, but you still have something in your favor with the wheel of fortune here. Something's still going to be on your side. Luck is still on your side. There are going to be some changes, okay? Unexpected changes, okay? But it's going to land up being very, very positive. Very positive. It could also be the other way. I'm seeing that you're the one, like I said, right? You're the one who's being very passive, not leading this relationship anymore, okay? And because you're copping out, they're feeling that brunt, okay, from you. They're feeling that um, entire, <coughs> that um, sadness, this, this happy fulfillment relationship that they had, right? It's draining them out now. And that's why it's forcing them to make a move towards you, okay? I want you to take that leap of faith. And that's why probably there are these positive changes. Something had to happen in order for for you to break that negative cycle maybe this person kept doing this all this while okay and you just couldn't let this person go unless they betrayed you you let this person go and now this person's awakened to this connection and they're ready to get the ball rolling okay and it was only because you copped out you stopped putting that work you stopped leading the relationship and let them do it and let them realize to do the work um, you know like equally yeah, but I think with the Four of Pentacles here, <clears throat> I feel this person's holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles, okay? It can be two ways. It could also be you who's uh, holding back from this person. But yeah, there's going to be some positive change that's happening, okay? With the communication coming in, with this person being clear about what they want. But there's just going to be some time, okay, before you guys come into that solid relationship because I think they're just starting off with that clarity starting off with that new start with you but that confusion here right it's still keeping this person into that wishful thinking they're still not they being able to think very practically when it comes to you but they do want that new beginning with you anyways there is something which is going to be in your favor so that's fine but with the four of pentacles yeah, i still feel that there is you who's holding back from this person Maybe they want to take that leap of faith, but you're the one who's still not sure if you want to give this person a second chance here. <clears throat> That's why we have some time before this comes up right. If you get what I'm saying. So that's what I have for you, alright? I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.